Like, it's so ratchet. And why is it like a little gnat? You guys are in my closet. This is how you know you live a real life. Is anybody in here yet? This is how you know you live a real life. When you got to cut the tags off your clothes so your man don't know you bought anything new. <laughs> I'm going to a football game this weekend. I got these from H&M, but I'm tired of H&M, y'all. I've been shopping there for so many years now. I guess I can at least take this shower cap off my head, right? <laughs> my hair still needs braids. I need to curl it. And yeah, so these were only like $12.99. But I don't even know. Oh, man. Am I going to be able to see the comments? Pack it up for a football game, and I do not know what to wear. I got this because we're going to be lounging around the house. This was like super cheap. What was it? Like super cheap at Forever 21, y'all. I think this was like 5 or $6. Don't no lie. Um, but I don't know what my style is right now. I'm kind of like sick of clothes. I hate that. I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to see you guys' comments. Hey, 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 y'all. Hey. Okay. So I want to see all visible messages. Okay. So I'm packing up. I just took my little shower cap thing off. The thing is telling me to rotate device. I don't want it like this. That's going to make me mad. Because it is going to like cut me off. So, I don't know. I need to change my style. And I recognize that my style is either, either like for work or like my, what I call like my ugly house dresses that are super comfortable. I got these from Cotton On because I am going to New Orleans for like the weekend. So, I was like, I could wear this with a cute shirt. I think I paid like $7 for these two. And if you don't know what I'm doing right now, it's so that my man doesn't think that I spent any money i'm going in and cutting all the price tags off this stuff so this is my ratchet room <laughs> can we just say that have you ever done that before so yeah i thought i don't know but they dress so comfortable like tennis shoes and flip-flops the whole group does and i'm sorry because my towel has a hole in it this is a bodysuit why am i trying to bring this bodysuit oh you know why it's because i feel like you can always make an impromptu night out outfit if you have a bodysuit and some black leggings and a loose top. But I got some more new stuff too. Okay, so I got this. But see, look how it's already wrinkling. This is just like a daytime dress. Um, but I have a feeling that we're going to spend... Oh, here it is in the front. This is like a daytime dress. It's got that. And then it's like that. I don't like how it's already wrinkling because I don't want to be high maintenance on this trip. And this was a $10 dress that I got. Okay. And then what else did I get? I know I got some more stuff. Like I'm trying to like, I cannot think of any outfits at all. Like this is just like something I would wear with leggings around the house um, as we chillax. And I'm doing the driving, which I don't mind driving because I know why I'm driving because my friend is like so tired or whatever. How have you guys been? Oh, I do like this one, but it's so similar to the other one. This is a tie dress. Again, a $10 dress. It's like a wrap tie dress. Um, I know I'm not doing these clothes justice. And it has like the ruffle at the bottom. And uh, yeah, so right now I'm just in a rush trying to think about outfits to bring. I recognize that I do love a house dress. Like, I, am I turning into like a bona fide yuppie for real? Like, I used to think that like I was playing like I was a yuppie, but I think that I might be a yuppie for real. Like, I'm like, where are all my cool clothes at? Like, <laughs> I have no clothes to wear to a football game. What, what am I like, where can I go get something that's cheap? And this is one of my raggedy towels, so I'm not trying to like show it all the way, but I need to get something that's like cheap and casual. My man loves these printed leggings. Oh, this is my night out dress that I am excited about. It's just a simple ruffle top. It has like a little slit and the buttons and it's kind of long and it's got this at the bottom. I am excited about this one though, girl. And that's like the thing. One of my coworkers was like, oh, I wish I would, because I had an address yesterday, a work dress. And she's like, ooh, I, would, I, I wish I could dress like you. I wish I, and she's like so skinny, not even like a hundred pounds. I'm wishing I was her size. And she's like, oh, I wish I had those thighs and legs and hips. And I'm like, I guess I just got to own that I got thighs, legs and hips. Hey girl, hey, where are you girl? I had to, 
<laughs> oh man, jeans and a t-shirt, but I don't know. Jeans, I don't even own a t-shirt. I don't look good in t-shirts. Like I'm, I have this kind of body where it depends on what I'm wearing. Things make me look fat. I'm not going to say the clothes make me look fat. Let's just say I have a lot of body fat and I want to like, um, you know, I'm not comfortable with that. You know, I, I want to camouflage it as much as I can. And then I just wore out my dad. My Nikes are worn out. Like they stink and everything. So, I, and I hate being one of those kind of people. Like I'm going to wear this on like a little road trip thing. Um, I got this today. It's just like a little, um, kind of thin, but it's like a little romper. What I like about it is that it was only $4 and it's really thin. So I don't know. We're only going through. And then I went to Walmart and I hope I got the right size. I went to Walmart and got a pair of their black leggings. Um, even though I know that I already have black leggings, these were only like $3 and 38 cents. Lately, I love spending money on clothes. Like I don't, I don't know why. Like lately, like I just, I think cause I don't know what my style is. So let's see what I have. I've got black leggings, printed leggings, and then possible night out leggings with a little thing on the side. Um, I guess could I wear, I'm thinking if I could wear like the black leggings and this t-shirt, you know, just like a $4 t-shirt from H&M with one of those sweatery type things. I'm thinking I could wear that to the game with something like, I don't know, um, with some kind of like cool accessories, I guess. Is that what I'm thinking? Is it here? Like with one of these type things, you know? Like, but it would be, I know the accessory set that I'm thinking of, but I just don't even know where it is. Cause if you guys can see what my closet is looking like, you would see why I'm so frantic right now. <sighs> I miss doing my YouTube. I want to do it better. I don't want to have a ratchet YouTube channel, but why I do, I'm just going to embrace that. Trying to see exactly. Did you ever do that? Like, I don't want to be like my sister. She carries like all this stuff, ripped jeans, trainers, and a white and a tight. Oh, girl, I got too much belly for a tight white shirt. My belly, like, ooh, I have to wear, <laughs> I have to wear things that flow away from the body. And you know what? I don't even have any ripped jeans. And then I gotta get a belt if I gotta get the ripped jeans. He, and then he's going to be like, what in the H are you doing? You know, I think I got enough dresses. I got one, two, three. I know I have at least four or five dresses to like flounce around in. I'm kind of disappointed though that I can't, I don't know. I need some new tennis shoes, y'all. Like, and this is where it depends on how you like to spend your money. Like, if I had, like, a nice pair of tennis shoes that I really like right now, maybe this wouldn't be so bad. Um, but I'm feeling some type of way. How have y'all been? I am feeling some type of way. Do I have stories to tell? Yes, I have stories to tell. Um, I want to tell some stories, like, in a tasteful way because I know people want an update on certain topics, so... I don't like I love to give like updates. I like to carry people along in my life. Like I like those type of channels. Like to me, it doesn't matter like the quality of the video. It just matters like, you know, how much is a person like being real and sharing their life. This is another pair of leggings that seems to be more comfortable. These are H&M leggings. So I'm going to carry two black leggings and still nothing to wear to the football game. I don't have shoes, you guys. That's my problem. I don't have comfortable shoes. Then I got to go in here and do something to my hair. And I know they're going to clown me so badly. Okay, jeans and t-shirt, alumni games. Um, don't put, don't, I love the black dress. How long is your trip? Um, not long. Probably, we're probably just, <laughs> I know, right? With me packing all these uh, clothes up, right? <laughs> How long is it? <laughs> Um, we haven't decided if we're going to stay till Tuesday or Wednesday, something like that. And we're leaving, uh, today, but most of it is just going to be like chilling with my man. I got, oh yeah, I got this shirt. <laughs> if you guys don't know what I'm doing, I'm taking all the tags off. So he doesn't know that I bought new stuff. <laughs> I got this little cute shirt. I like this though. 
it was only um hey Sarah this shirt right here was only like five dollars from like the men's department but I like the cut on it I just need a new style I'm not gonna lie like it's time like I've been wearing the same white t-shirt black leggings sweater thing for like I don't know how many years now like ever since when me and my sister my mom went to New York how many years ago was that Probably like three years now and I'm just over it and I'm kind of like confused, but I like to wear like my little frilly dresses and stuff like that when I'm off from work because it just puts me like in a different state of mind. Like here's another one I just recently brought. I got this for like maybe like four or five dollars. I know I'm so yuppie. Like, <laughs> like even when I hold this up, I'm like, who is where? I like, guess I'm this type of lady. Like give me, give me something that takes my mind away from my work day. It brings me so much joy, but it's like, it's not something that I would wear to like a club or to like a football game. You know, I, I don't know. I'm also using the stuff on my face, you guys, because I broke out so badly. I'm kind of embarrassed. I kind of think I know why I broke out. It's because I sleep in my boyfriend's armpit. <laughs> and so my face broke out so badly. You see that? Um, so then I started like Googling on YouTube because it wasn't like your normal like whiteheads. It's like these big things. And this girl, she put a video out about using dandruff shampoo on breakouts like this. And then the doctors had it on their, like, you know, the Dr. Oz, the doctor show had it saying that, yeah, there's an ingredient in dandruff shampoo that can, um, cure, like get down and like get out the anti fungal and inflammation. So I'm trying this shampoo on my face right now. The girl from London, here's another little thing. What is this? Oh, this is just like a black tank top. Do you guys, I know this is like so gross and so TMI. Do you guys get like razor bumps and stuff like that? Like I, I hate, like I'm talking about, you know what I mean? So then I did get this stuff right here. I think they're trying to put some of this on um, visible results in 48 hours. I wonder if this works. Does anybody know any kind of like products to stop razor bumps? <laughs> So I got that. This was a $2. I love deals like this when things are like $2, $2 hollow. Just like a black um, tank top that has a tie in the front. The only thing I don't like about the tie in the front is that you can't make it tighter. That's like that, that part kind of sucks. So um, yeah, I love like, like I own so many of these. These are just like things that are like already in my closet. Like this right now is my current style. This was one of those little sweater things and leggings, but I have been wearing the crap for so like this right here. If this right here could stand up by itself and put some black leggings underneath it, it would be me. I don't even need to get into it. It's just me, <laughs> but I can't like, I, why is it? Is anybody else like this? When you're doing something like outside of your norm, you try to become a whole brand new person. That's like so annoying. And I had stopped doing that for years, like for like three or four years. I just said, nope, I'm sticking with my same style. I'm not changing it up. But now I just feel like so burnt out and just like frump, like frumpy is the word. I feel so frumpy about it, you know? So these are my clothes. I am going to bring a pair of workout pants just in case i have to, girl these tennis shoes is so embarrassing you know how we are about tennis shoes these are like i think oh they stink too like these are like my tennis shoes that i wear to work out and if um what like going to the grocery store but girl those things are stink i don't even want to put those in the car they be like who has those stank shoes um after <laughs> is really good to use down below i promise you aftershave lotion nivea sensitive area okay I'm going to get it, girl. I am going to get that. I'm thinking uh, that's on a long train of thought. I, I want to go ahead and get like the electrolysis, but you guys don't really know how crazy my sister is. My sister's like, can you imagine having that thing completely bald when you like 70 years old? You might want to rethink that. <laughs> so um, what else do I have going on? So trying to pack up for this trip. I don't even know. I'm bringing some underwear. We know that. So, and I'm also making, I'm going to show you guys the dandruff shampoo on the, on the OEN for men though. Um, I, okay. So when I looked it up online, this was the stuff that they said to use to clear this kind of breakout that I have. This is dandruff shampoo, but, and I've had it on my face. It's actually on my face right now. It's clear, 
because I had it everywhere. And I kind of know that it's from him because it started out right here because I was like laying on one side. Then I switched the other side. Then this side broke out. Then I was like, okay, I'm not going to lay like that. So then I used my forehead and every place because he wears like cologne when he sleeps. I'm actually trying to clear out my refrigerator as well. So, you know, when you're like trying to eat up everything in your refrigerator, I really did want the spinach. I really did. I'm like manic right now, like, because I really need to get myself together. And I'm like, I don't have anything to wear. You guys just saw me pull out all those clothes. And your girl still doesn't feel like she has a thing to wear. Oh, now this makes me feel like more at home and at peace. And I don't know what time he is going to get back here. I hate that I like to wear so black, you know, because... Oh, girl, hair is kind of going easy breezy. Thank you, because I always have a hard time with my hair. Like, oh, it is always giving me the blues. What's been going on in y'all life, in y'all world? I have been living a boring life. I think I've fallen in love. Mm -hmm. I haven't been in love in many years. I can say I don't think I've been in love in maybe more than 10 years. Like, even the last person I was with, I like them, you know, I was like, I had love for them, like a family member, but being actually in love, in love, like, <sighs> is different when you really want to see that, like, not nah, just really want to see that person, but when you just think about that person and making that person happy, like so much, it's kind of scary for me. It does make me want to run. Love is a beautiful thing. I'm happy. Ah, love is a scary as H E L L thing. Like <laughs> it's so scary. I'm not, like I'm. Gonna, I'm not gonna use the word love. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say infatuation. Let's be mature about this. I'm gonna say I am in heavy, heavy, heavy infatuation with this person, and there's no reason for me to be. So that's what kind of like scares me. And the purpose of this trip is so that I can meet some people in his family before they go on their next trip. They want to meet me and get to know me. They kind of feel like that he lives with me or whatever. And I'm like, he does not live with me. He's just over here, you know? And I told, like, I don't know, like, it's just weird. I haven't, I've never had a serious kind of relationship, like a mature, serious kind of relationship where I was meeting the person's inner circle, like, so rapidly. I guess I have, but maybe it didn't mean it the mean the same to me that it meant to the other people that I've done it with in the past. Like, cause I I really don't want to do it, and maybe that's why I'm so nervous about my style and what to wear. I don't want to be like too raunchy, but I don't want to look like fat, old and fat. And it is so different dating as you get older. I know I probably said this like a million times. I could probably like write a funny book about it, <laughs> but like I read this uh, cute little story on something yesterday on the Humans of New York about how this lady um, always said she was 71 because she felt like she was 71. It was weird when her kid, or 77, it was weird when her kids started getting into their 70s and their mom was still saying that she was in her 70s and finally she had some health problems and she had to go to the hospital and the people had to like say, they had to like say, no mom, you're really, you know, 90 something years old. And she was like, well, you're only as you know old as you feel and that kind of thing. but. And I do understand that, but I'm going to tell you something. Your body changes, you know what I mean? Like, if I was, like, 21 right now, <laughs> I know, right? Um, if I was, like, 21 right now, I wouldn't care what I was, like, wearing to a football game or what other people thought about me. I'd probably just be like, oh, I'm going to just want to turn up, girl. <laughs> we about to get loose. But <laughs> when, when people are, like, telling you, I want you to meet my family because I want to be sure that, you know, as we go on trips with them, that everybody is comfortable, it kind of means something different to me now. And that's how I know that I kind of like have feelings for this person um, that kind of creeped me out. I was telling one of the secretaries at work yesterday, she's like, don't run, don't run. I was like, girl, <laughs> I didn't think of the word run, but yeah, I kind of want to run. I kind of, um, I don't like, I wish she wouldn't tell me things like that. I wish she would just be like, oh no, we're just going. If you want to come, then come. Cause like, that's the kind of like normal personality that he has. But no, this time he like mentioned it like three or four times that they were going. I need a new curling iron. Nice to see you happy with a smile. <laughs> don't try. 
don't try too hard to be yourself. I know myself is like weird though. I'm a weirdo. <laughs> myself is like, what can I say about myself? <laughs> My real self hates commitment. I hate serious relationships. Like, but. And I think in the past that has helped my situations last for like years and years because I don't put pressure on it. And the other people that were involved with me that I last with don't put pressure on it either. But when a person brings it to my attention that this is what they're doing, then it feels kind of different. And I know he'd be so mad, but um, I don't think he's going to watch a 20 minute video of mine. But um, when your man, um, I, well, he's not my man, but I think he kind of is your man. I, I think he become my man when you start paying my bills. You, you, <laughs> I like, well, that's the key to my, <laughs> no, and I'm not going to say that. Because I was already like doughy eyed before any kind of monetary, this, man, da, 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 ta, <laughs> this talk and keep your, what? I couldn't, I don't know. The comments keep disappearing. If somebody puts up a new comment, I'll be able to see. I don't know. Um, meeting the family, but he attracted to the weird self. Just talk and keep your makeup mirror. Um, I don't know. I guess so. I, and I wonder if my best friend was like, you're not insecure, are you? I'm like, oh my God, maybe I am. Because I wonder like, what is it about me? Is he really attracted to? Like, cause his lifestyle is so crazy different than mine. Like. Oh, it's a, it, he lives a crazy life. <laughs> I'm like, why do you even like, I, I think that he likes the calmness. And sometimes, and this is going to get real and deep. This is like a little diary. We're going to go into like the personal diary section at 21 minutes. Sometimes I have to like take a step back and say, is this what I want? Because my best friend, she put it in the best time. She's like, this man doesn't have any kids. He's never been married. And he's in his 40s. Why is he single? Why? And I couldn't answer that question. And then when I thought about it, um, yeah, when I thought about it, I see, I see you, AJ. Yeah, that nobody's opinion matter for his. He lives such a wild, crazy life that a lot of women wouldn't put up with it. The traveling, the clubs, a lot of women wouldn't, <laughs> you know, and that doesn't bother me. He is. He's very, he's very, he's like, I love nice guys. So I like, I like jerks and I like nice guys. I like genuine people. Can I say that? As long, being genuine goes a long way because even if the person is a jerk or what have you, if they're genuine, it can't really hurt you because you already know where they're coming from. If some people have those hidden agendas or hidden lies or or mean you no good, or you know, or have that black heart, and it's okay to have a black heart. Like you know, some people are just hateful and mean in life in general. But as long as they open about that, like this is me, I'm just a mess. You know, I'm okay with that. But he's not like that. He's more he he does like the partying thing. I think the but it's not like oh he's just partying to just be partying. And sometimes he does, but a lot of times he goes out for things for work. And I'm trying to say it with like respect to his privacy. Um, he does things for work and they go crazy, like entertaining clients and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. I, like what came to my mind this week is that I have to take care of myself. I can't go out and be with him and do things with him to the level that he does things. Because I have to take care of myself. Like, I'm the kind of person where I have to have a lot of rest, okay? I can't be out here in these streets, turning up, getting scraped off the sidewalk, and going to work and looking okay the next day. I need to take my vitamins, too, okay? I'm around here trying to take vitamins, <laughs> eat my <the> spinach. <laughs> you know, that's a whole different kind of lifestyle. And he did say that. Like, he has never met a woman that was able to keep up with his um, after-hours life and keep her professional life together. So when you hear things like that, you don't take it seriously, but then as time goes on, you start to see what the person means. And it's up to me to draw the boundaries because I don't think he cares. Like he doesn't care if I say, you know, babe, I'm not going out with you uh, tonight. I'm staying home. You know, <laughs> I'm not doing this with you. I'm staying home. He doesn't mind 
But I wonder if I will at some point in time, you know, and that's just like real life kind of a uh, situation. And even like this last minute trip, you know, meeting these people that I don't know that really want to meet me because they heard so much about me. I'm such a shy kind of like private kind of person, shy, private, whatever you want to call it, that, you know, it's kind of like, I don't know, makes me feel weird. So that is a lot of what's going on in my life. And one thing I do notice about me, I am the kind of person that when I do get a person in my life, like a man, I, I spend a lot of time with them. And that kind of scares me because, you know, I've had breakups before. And when they're gone, just be present. I know I am trying to, and I think that's what I'm getting away from. I need to get back into the moment. I think... I was living in the moment, but then when he started putting out these like serious hints about certain things, like meeting his family is important, <laughs> we almost got into like, it wasn't an argument, but it definitely was a side eye when he was like, my dad wants to take us out for dinner this week. I was like, oh, you don't have time to do that. He just let me continue to wash dishes or whatever. I was like, oh yeah, but I guess that, um, you, yeah, girl, I disappear, girl, because he, he would not agree with this. He, he, he's not cool with social media. He knows that my sister does it. He don't agree with it. Like, he just feels, which I get it. He's already told me the story why a real life story. A lot of people cannot have their business out there in any kind of capacity for business reasons. Like, you don't want people behind your closed doors gauging all kind of thoughts. And I want to be real on this channel, too. Like, I do, you know, I, I want to be myself, you know, but you just never know. Like, people are weird. People are so judgmental. They care if you have this or if you don't have that or, or who are you dating, what they believe so are. And, oh, well, you say you practice this, but you do that. Da, da, da. You know, people want to put you in these boxes. And the less they know about you, you know, the better. And on, on a wide scale, unless social media is your business. And I do understand that. Like, he wouldn't date somebody who was a social media person because it just doesn't fit what he does, you know. And I respect that. So I can't just pull out the camera every time every time we're doing something cool and we do a lot of cool things together <laughs> you know or a lot of like crazy stuff together i can't just be like like if i was by myself i would definitely turn it on and be like turn up because that's kind of like how i started back doing youtube a little bit was when i went to vegas one time i just turned on the camera and i was having my drinks and i was feeling good girl you i felt no pain at that time so <laughs> you know i, I don't know it would have to be like my channel would have to be like more focused i wouldn't even tell him about it i would have to be like more on a motivational mature like something but not just on here telling my business and everybody else's business he doesn't like that he's like oh i don't like when people get on social media and just tell you know other people's business because yeah it is kind of dangerous because if the person likes you this is no tea no shade on other people if they like you then they're talking all good about you but what happens when they don't like you and then they start talking bad about you <laughs> And we've seen that on YouTube a few times, right? <laughs> and, um, yeah, so he doesn't know that I do it. I even feel uncomfortable when I take, like, food photos in front of him because he eats out so much, and so do I, but he just make like, they make me feel like such a tourist, you know, if you go to, like, a really nice place or even just, like, a cool place, you know, or you're just having a cool moment. It makes you feel weird that you're the person pulling out the camera, taking the photos, like, almost like an invasion of privacy. But I do like that I can have a good time because the last couple of people that I dated were super freaking conservative, like so conservative that it was like always like, I won't say like stick in the mud, stick up their butt, but they, this group is making me feel like that I was sticking the mud, sticking my butt person. I'm like, whoa, but like I have to pace myself, like going to New Orleans, I will not be out to three o'clock in the morning, but I may, but I will not, I will, I will be there like, I won't know I won't do that. I will try. <laughs> I won't feel bad if I gotta be like, you know what? It's three. It's it's one a.m. for me. I'm going home to take my makeup off and go play on the internet. And he doesn't give me a hard time about it. There is oh, what food places do you guys like there? There is this place I want to go. I think it's called Jack Rose. It's inside like the Pontchartrain Hotel. I'm gonna make him take me there because he owes me one. Yesterday we drove all the way to the airport and back because he canceled his flight. Well, his flight got delayed. And then he canceled it. 
So while we were on what we thought was going to be his flight before he canceled it, we were hungry. I had not eaten any food all day long. And we can't, uh, we stopped like this hole in the wall um, Mexican burger place. But I still like those kind of memories though. Like, I don't know. I always wanted that kind of situation where you build memories with the person and i think myself i've got to stop talking about my past like i have so many memories with my ex-boyfriend and i feel like i have like so many cool stories that i end up telling them and i'm like no i'm not gonna talk about my ex-boyfriend anymore in front of this guy like no i can't it's like played out now we've got to build our own memories together which we have is this thing on we have built some memories together but it's just like has somebody ever snuck up on you like, I don't want to like you? You never talk about, not not with you guys. <laughs> but with him, I do. Like, it just, like, we were passing by a hotel. I was like, oh, no, I got a bad memory with that hotel. I literally showed my butt, da, da, da. And then I went off to, like, this whole tangent, and it ended up with me talking about the ex. And I, I don't know why I do that, because I think this is the first person, I swear, like, and I don't know how long, like, since in my early 20s, that I really just, for some reason, I, I don't know, like, we, I met him last year, right? And he was too much for me. He was just too much. He, the party stuff was just all on him. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I will not be going out with you again. <laughs> and then this year, around Mardi Gras time, because he has a place there, I was like, oh, you know, asking him questions. And I didn't end up going, but sometimes, and I was going to delete him from my phone. I was going to delete him from my phone. And before I deleted him from my phone, I, you know how you do that? You just call and test it out. And we became talking friends because he travels so much. He has like waiting periods sometimes. And we would talk and talk and talk. And so I feel like that we built our situation on that kind of like, I don't know when I'm going to see you, how I'm going to see you kind of thing. Um, so we can just really share and be open. And then we just started to, um, spend more and more time together. It used to be like one or two days a week, you know, <laughs> at like the grown folks do nothing serious here. Keep it moving, you know, and I don't know. It's like, he just kept coming and we used to just get like takeout food and stuff together. And then I got tired of takeout food and he traveled a lot and I started feeling bad. Like you, you're traveling, you're on the road and you still gonna come here and get takeout. That doesn't make sense. Let me go cook something. And then I started the cookie thing. And then I, I don't know. It's like taking off from there. And like now that we're spending like three and four times a week together, if not longer, sometimes like when we go to New Orleans together, it's normally like we spend seven days straight together. You know, uh, his friends that know me, everybody has heard about me. You know, oh, I finally get to meet you type of thing. It's not like, ooh, who this gank? And I, and I guess, <laughs> I don't know. I got to I gotta get back in the moment. I just wish, okay, so what is a good time for somebody to tell you that they love you? If, if he's feeling the feels, I just wish he would, like, say it more clearly. He has said, you think I can't, he has said, you think I don't care, but I do care. He has said that to me with such um, passion behind it that I'm like, okay, maybe I'm overlooking him because I think he's just some kind of wild party man that maybe I'm not taking into consideration that he has wants and feelings and, you know, but men also have a timeline, girl. Men be wanting children and everything because he definitely wants kids. And I just don't know if that's in my future. But, you know, <laughs> I, I always said no, you know, that no kids is not in my future. And he's let me say no. I've always said that marriage is not in my future. But we don't talk about it, talk about it. But, girl, he, he gave me some dirty looks. <laughs> Where I know he is not cool with me, like, saying no and never and... But I told my sister, and this is very private, 34 minutes in. I've, okay, I've heard enough. A stick of fork in me, I've done about. Okay, I think, um, what happened? I think, uh, what happened? That, uh, I was going to say something really personal, and then that person said something. What was I going to say? Oh, I said that if he met somebody that was really nice, like a really nice girl, I wouldn't even be upset. I'd be like, you know what? You totally deserve that. And he's like, what? You're not a nice girl? I was like, you know what I mean? Like some girls are red D. They like 
clink, clank, ready to lock it down. They ready for the marriage and the kids and the duh. And I'm like, I don't feel like a wounded warrior of love. My favorite song, Sade, I'm a soldier of love. <laughs> But maybe I am more than I thought I was. And that's just real. Maybe maybe I am a little bit more. Um, you know what I hate about my hair is this separation here. I worked so hard to have that happen. <laughs> and it just happens. Like, it's like my hair has to be like so old, ready to come out before that stops happening. Can anybody tell me what is a remedy to stop your hair from separating in the front? And you know what I mean. That's one that makes your hair look all fake and stuff and people looking all in your forehead. I don't want that. How can I stop that? Woo! I feel like we have done a lot of catching up. <laughs> in these 35 minutes. We sure have. You guys I know about my face breakouts. <laughs> oh, I got a new manager at work. Things slow down there. <laughs> We're more chilled out in that area. We we just doing all kind of catching up. <laughs> Girl, what else? I have not been to the gym. Oh, remember when I said, and I wanted to do this in a more formal video. Oh, I wanted to make like X amount of dollars, like extra per month. I made, I, I beat that goal. Remember I wanted to start out like $600 a month or whatever. I know that I was very close to that. And then I got some extra money. <laughs> so like, I wanted to do a video about that. I think I am um about the power of setting goals people say like the power of intention and stuff like that but just like when you really do set goals it changes your mind and you're able to like work towards it because like to me bringing in an extra thousand dollars a month seemed like a really like how in the heck like a large goal to me and i thought i was gonna like have to do it a different way and then just like when i really started putting my mind to it you know there were some resources that were um untapped oh i don't care about trolls like I, number one i'm too old to have trolls like you know what i mean like i love watching mature people's videos and channels and stuff like that because it's like more peaceful like come on i'm just like come on just a lady curling her hair talking about her life getting ready to go on the weekend trying to hide her belly fat and her cellulite <laughs> Time for an outside hater. I end up haters in this brain of mine. You know, like, I ain't nobody got time for that. Grow up, like, and I grow up, but if you keep living, you will recognize the time you wasted. And even I say that to myself right now, because I am kind of like wasting time being hard on yourself. Being hard on yourself is such a time waster on the grand scheme of life because that's time that you could have spent laughing. <laughs> Enjoying somebody that you do care about and being in the moment. And, and that is true. It's so stupid. Like, why do you have to be reminded so much to get to the moment? Why is it so hard for us to stay in the moment of enjoying life? And that's how you know that negativity is such a real force. You know what I mean? It's such a real thing that you can be so grounded, you know, you can do the work within yourself to say, you know what, I'm just gonna enjoy. You can know that life is short. You know that the good times don't last. And then when you're having a good moment, you let the stupidest things overtake you. I know, I, I am gonna stop that. Like, I, and I don't even know where that has come from. Like, it is, but that's how you just know, like, it's something that, I don't know. I know I'm not the only one that has to work on that. You know, it's something that I really have to work on. And I think, Right now, the negative thoughts are like coming out because I'm getting out of my comfort zone. As long as I'm in my comfort zone, I'm the bomb. <laughs> yeah, you want to go to the mall and have some wine? I am the bomb at that. <laughs> I can have a TV show on that. Um, comes from now. You know what? Stop. Hey, now you know what? Now you know what? Y'all and y'all political boy, y'all. I think it's more than that, though. I'm, I'm more spiritual than that. I think Washington is only an indicator, but I come from, like, the real South where we believe in atmospheres and spirits, like, and not saying, like, woo, and all that. No, 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 no. Like, more so, like, sometimes the atmosphere has an energy or a spirit behind it, and Washington may be illustrating that, 
but that energy that spirit is already so deep rooted and for me it doesn't come from washington it comes from the lack of morality that we have right now there's something big going on in texas i haven't caught up on it about the police officer who went home and shot a man and she thought that it was her apartment now i haven't seen the story but one of my co-workers tried to get me so riled up about a girl and i and i and i was like commenting because i was like what if the lady was just fatigued or exhausted and he wasn't even african-american he was an arabic muslim a very attractive very well dressed and then he shared his story that he had with the police and how he doesn't trust them because we don't talk about a whole bunch in this video but the whole thing is this he was like no i mean it's just tainting it more yes yes it is here oh you're in dallas i didn't know that i don't think that okay so listen i don't think that washington or politics is tainting it more i think that people took more morality religion family values out of their lifestyle even myself even though i'm not like an evil person right I can live a whole year with no morals, just doing what my company says do. And I think, and doing what my bills tell me to do and doing what feels good to me. And I think that we as people, as society, we're on that track. And what happens when everybody gets on that collective track, then yes, it will manifest in your political system, but that energy was already there. I don't think it starts in Washington. I think it starts in your bedroom. It starts in your living room. If your bedroom and your living room is right and full of love and you are putting in a value system there is nothing that can come up against that and tear it down in a longevity way like even people who grow up in church like that i think about myself you grow up in church and yeah you go your own way but for some reason you come back to it or you come back to a sense of there are certain things that i cannot see such as my morals and my values that do carry weight and are important to me there are a lot of things that i'm not going to do because I just believe in something bigger than myself, you know, and I don't think that Washington can, can change that, you know, I think that people need to change the way they raise their kids and interact with their family. Once people start doing that, if you change the way you raise your kids, interact with your family and the way that you treat people with like, I tell my boyfriend, we've had this conversation. He's like, oh, you're so world peace. I said, I don't give a damn about world peace. I believe in internal peace. If everybody had internal peace, we wouldn't need world peace. If everybody really tapped in and say, no, I have a moral code. You can't lie to me. Cheating is not okay to me, whether it be with money or in relationships or just to get ahead. If everybody or the majority of people really stuck their heels in on that, we wouldn't be in a situation. But you got so many people who were not raised up with any kind moral code whatsoever and have been allowed to do that and anything that did have morals or values to it such as uh, praying or anything like that is a is a negative because it's like you shouldn't be serving things that we can't see you got to go serve the flag or you know you it's like wait a minute you're, you're wait you, you can't like that's the problem is when you started taking prayer and religion out of things where do people get their morality from you know, so we've already been on this. We this America has always already been, but there are influencers. That's all. Yeah, I think that your number one influencer is the people that are in your household. I'm sorry, if you nobody who's not in my house influences more than the people that are in my house. They just don't. Like if you, I had to stop. If you um. It's like, you can call me all kind of things, but it's different if I come home and my man says that or if my mom says that about me, that carries more weight. You know what I mean? Like I know people whose life is like so like messed up and they've got somebody rooting them on and then they turn their life around. That is more powerful than any kind of imagery that you're getting off of TV or influencers. I don't even believe in influencers because that goes back to not having the right internal fortitude and internal compass. I think that the number one influencer has got to be your own humanity. If you call anything outside of your own humanity an influencer, it's like you're missing something. Like my like one thing my boyfriend he said that he likes about me is that I don't do any drugs whatsoever. He's and he's like I respect that so much about you. And I was just like He's like, because so many, and he's not judging it, you know, because he's like pro a lot of things. Um, but I was like, I never thought, I never thought that that was a big deal, you know. 
I just, I grew up a certain kind of way and I have certain kind of values that are important to me. I don't force them on, on other people. And, and those values show even when I sometimes don't feel like I'm the best person. I really want the best for people. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to play no games about that. And I think people have got to want the best for those that they love. If people start feeling more love and more connectivity, we wouldn't be in the situation that we're in. But when you start labeling things like, oh, an influencer over here or a maker over there, you're a creator over here, it gives people this over, like, disconnected, like, you're over there, so I should look to you for what? I'm not looking to you over there, cause I need you over here with me. If you're not, if you're not rocking and riding with me, I'm I, I'm fouled enough that I know you really can't take me anywhere. But I do know there are a lot, a lot, a lot of lost people, so I do agree with AJ that oh, influencers. But to me, they're preying on the weak minds. So there needs to be an intervention where people can strengthen their minds, and that comes from their community and their family. And, and that's just my thoughts on that. But I didn't know, like, because I don't watch the news. I don't own the television. <laughs> There's no television here. I get my news from social media clips and different things like that. But I know that the energy that we're in right now has been so disconnected for so long. You know, people don't maintain the family unit. People don't keep their childhood, religion, and faith. And not just that religion, but a lot of times when people have been burned by religion and faith, then they say they don't even believe in God and stuff like that, or they don't need that, or, you know, and, and it just creates, okay, this whole society of where everybody is just stuck in their own head doing whatever they feel like doing at that time. And then at the end of it, they wonder why they're depressed. They have no moral guidance, no inclination that that's important. And then at the end of it, they recognize that there's something wrong. Like, why do you think they push pushing so many drugs everywhere? Why are we legalizing so much? Because they want people to be asleep. Like the whole thing, Mac Miller died. I, I can't even think of a song. I know his name, but I can't even think of a song. One person I am a fan of that I'm not going to be a fan of anymore, I was a fan of their music, was Post Malone. I didn't know what Post Malone looked like because I don't watch TV. <laughs> I knew his music from the radio and when I worked out. Like sometimes I'll listen to the radio just to hear like a s artist or a sound that I like and then I will work out to that sound. But when I saw him, I was like... It was like a couple of weeks ago when he was in a plane crash. I saw little tattoos on his face. And I was like, oh, whoa. Like, I like his music because it's like so relaxing. But then I, when I saw him, I was like, he looks like he's in some kind of trance or something. Like a, a couple of weeks ago, he was almost in a plane crash, almost died. This week, he was almost in a car, like he was in a car crash. And But the same thing with these young people, I call them young, they're younger than myself. They look different. They act different. That's cool. I'm not going to be one of those old people that harps on that. But I'm not even going to say but. It's okay to be in the culture, right? But you got to know that the culture is built upon people. And you yourself are your own person and your own individual, which means that you are always more important than the current culture. Doesn't matter what, like me wearing those stupid dresses, those Jeffy dresses. And it's so funny because in my neighborhood, it's like cobblestone streets and shops and stuff. And I see the women wearing those kind of clothes. But when I watch TV, women are not dressed like that. They wearing those motorsport outfits and all other kind of thing. It's just not a part of my world. And that's how I know that's one example of how people can make their own world. You, you can have your own sense of whatever life needs to be to bring you joy. I, I feel like if people are even raising their kids with the idea of there are influencers, it needs to go back to your heart and your humanity is the most important influence of your life. Now, I don't know how you're going to exercise that in your career. I don't know what that's going to look like to you in your faith, but that has got to be a message that's out there. You cannot just label things and my phone is going to go dead. So I'm not going to let this cut off. You can't just allow society to take over and feel like they are the guiding that they guiding compass of life because no person has their stuff all together. So if you're looking towards this world to have it all together for you and for people and for people who are growing up in a society without a family unit without love, without affection, without faith. That's what we have right now in our political system showing loudly to us. If you're looking for this, for these broken people to create something whole and something loving, when all they care about is the aesthetic, 
you're looking in the wrong place. I'm sorry. It's, 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 it's like on shaking sand is what we say. We need to know and understand. Um, yeah, people are searching. They really are. And I do believe that. And people have always been searching. I gave you a thumbs up. <laughs> Thank you, AJ. You know, you're one of my favorites. I don't like, I don't know, like, funny that we even went on that tangent because what it makes me think in this video is going to cut off. So I got to go and charge my phone because I got to make sure that I can talk to my friend uh, when he calls me and pack my bag. But AJ, what can we do if we think that there are influencers and there's negativity out there and we think that the political world is taking it to a different place? What can we do who see that we're on the decline? How can we shift it to the uprise? I, and that's the question I have for myself. What can we really do? Girl, if you watch from the beginning of this video, I went from my shower cap on my head, packing my bag, being ratchet, to now having this conversation. <laughs> I enjoyed it. I am going to stop the video so it does not cut off. And thank you so much. And I hope you enjoy your weekend. And if you watch this video at a later time, thank you so much for sticking in this far. I appreciate anybody who did anything out of any part of my life. <laughs> Bye.